It's that time of year again, and if you're anything like me, you are leaving your shopping till the absolute last minute, because that's just the best way to do it. First cab off the ranks is this nifty little pouch from Rock Bros. I enjoy their stuff. It's usually quite well made, uh, even if it is a little bit knockoffy. But today we've got a 0.6 litre pouch for your bike. This one actually sits on the seat tube, or it can actually mount to your top tube as well. So a few different options there. We've got some uh, Velcro bitties on the side. Claims to be waterproof. Now uh, it's got a nice waterproof looking zip, so I'm not going to dispute that. Let's have a look inside. Comes with a bunch of Velcro stat, uh, straps to help you join it to wherever you need to join it to. Uh, a little bit of hard plastic in there to keep it rigid. So I just wanted something that was going to be quite small, just tuck in behind the seat, and this looks like it'll do the job nicely. Uh, $25.99 usually. I got it for Black Friday price of $20, something around that. This one might sound like a German disease, but it is in fact a lovely little water bottle cage. Don't, uh, don't worry about pronouncing that one, but for under 20 bucks, $19, you get two of these and a little bag of uh, bolts and some Allen keys, so not bad at all. I love the colors on these, I reckon they're awesome. It comes in a bunch of different colors, so you can match with your partner or uh, Great for kids, I'm going to say this one. Good stocking stuffer, as are most of these items on the list. But, uh, yep, you get two of them, and they are more suited to a smaller water bottle. So it even says on the listing, like, a five to 600 mil bottle. So for a smaller frame bike or a smaller person, uh, these work really well. Um, haven't had any trouble. Got the second one on my other bike. But, uh, yeah, had real good luck with these. And uh, he likes them too, don't you, mate? Our next item looks a little something like this. It is a pair of gloves from InBike. These are obviously fingerless. They do have fingered gloves as well, if I can say that on YouTube. Uh, I like the color of these, the fit. They get very good reviews and yeah, under 20 bucks. Very, very heavy duty uh, palm cushioning. It claims to be gel. It says gel on it. I don't know. Feels like foam. Someone in the comments said foam, but for under 20 bucks, I actually really like them. They're comfortable. I'd say, I was at the top of the large uh, size range according to their uh, chart. I like quite tight gloves. These are could almost be a little tighter. So I'd say definitely don't go a size up if you're at the top of your range. Just stick to what you're supposed to be. But overall, they're a very comfy glove and I can't wait to give them a, uh, give them a test. Following on, we've got our next two items are both from the same company. They are from Velo Champion. And to be honest, for the price, I have been super impressed by the quality of these items. So first up, the Velo Champion MLT18 multi-tool chain breaker. Now, this one was a bit bigger than I wanted. Um, I got it on with a discount code for like 29 bucks. I think they usually run for about 31 something. Um, there is a smaller version for 19-ish, which would be perfect for a small saddle bag like the one we've just bought. But this was what was in stock, and to be honest, I'm super impressed. 30 bucks comes in this nice little neoprene pouch, and just the features is uh, it is amazing. The features are amazing. So here is the unit itself. It's a very compact little unit for how many features that are in this. I really like the finish and build quality. It's nice and tight. It's not too loose, which you get with a lot of them. We'll start with this side, you get your Phillips head, your flat blade screwdrivers, you get a, what I'm guessing is about a T25, might be a T30 Torx bit, really should have checked that one. 4mm Allen key, 5mm Allen key, and then we go around to the slightly more exciting side. We've got an 8mm Allen key adapter, on a 6mm Allen key, you've got a 3 and a 4, and then you have a very well featured spoke tool, and a very sturdy tie lever. And I'm pretty impressed by how strong that is. It's decently strong. And finally, which isn't always super necessary in a multi-tool if you're going to carry it on your bike. Or it's almost never necessary, let's be honest. But it's nice to have one if you don't have one. It's a pretty decent uh, chain breaker. And I like the fact that it's got this little handle that comes out, which I haven't seen before. So overall, for your 30 bucks, or hopefully cheaper if you get the deal, um, just got to remember how to put this thing back together. There we go. It's a... Really nice little unit, really well made, and I really like this fellow champion brand. And that brings us on to our next one. 
Usually I wouldn't be calling anything that seven inches long tiny, but this time it is. It is a seven inch alloy bike pump from Velo Champion. Let's have a look-see. So in the box, you get your pump, you get a mounting bracket, and you get a fitting kit too with a strap and some instructions presumably. Uh, pop that off and there we go, that's it. Something to be aware of, it does only go up to 100 PSI. So if you're running some really high pressure, smaller gauge tires, I guess, might not work for you. Also it doesn't have an indicator on it, obviously, but size is the key here. So it's very small. And once again, very well made, feels great. Uh, nice tidy little unit, Presta or Schrader, just have to swap around the valve in there to suit your setup. And a nice little unit from Velo Champion. So yeah, super happy with everything else I've had from this brand so far. If you've had any similar experiences or negative ones, let me know in the comments below. And that brings us to our final item. Now for long time viewers of the channel with great memories, this one might bring back some because I reviewed the Lamical bike phone mount probably a year, two years ago now. And honestly, it was a great mount. It's very, very sturdy. Uh, but this one claims to be the 2023 upgrade. So we all need a phone on our bikes these days, of course. So I thought, let's give the upgrade a go, the update, see what's actually been changed, if anything. And if not, you still end up with a really good phone mount for like 25 bucks. Um, we had some instructions just fall out there. Let's see what this is, because I cannot remember. It's been a long time and I might even go in depth this down the track. Okay, so this is the mount itself. Sorry, the, the attaching portion of it. So hard plastic, a metal quick release like you'd get on your seat post or your wheels um, and a lot of different sort of packing options to uh, fit any sort of handlebar. And then we have the mount itself. Now looking at that, I can't tell the difference. It looks very similar to me, but I'll have to go out to my partner's bike and see what hers looks like. Uh, but it looks pretty similar in saying that though. It's a great mount. It's very sturdy. Almost a little too robust, like you've got these corner protectors on it, like you're gonna throw it off the bike, maybe you will, I'm not sure. Uh, you've got this locking lug on the back, which keeps it open or closed at your desired uh, position. And other than that, it's just a really nice solid mount that doesn't bounce around too much when you're out on the, the, the road or even trails, I'd say, you'd happily put a phone in that. So for yeah, 25 bucks or under, it's a really solid mount and I'm just been super impressed with how this thing's made. So a worthy addition to the list and a worthy final item. So let's go slap them all on the bike and see how we go. And here we are, we're all loaded up with all the goodies I essentially bought for myself, but we have our lovely Zilbin bottle mount. We've got our Rock Bros little bag up here, which I took for like a 30K ride the other day and it was fantastic. It is chock full with that Velo Champion a uh, little multi-tool. The pump's actually sitting nicely down the side here and there's a spare tube in there as well. So <laughs> really liking that thing. Uh, we've got our Lamical mount up here. Now there is a difference. I checked my partner's bike. The only difference I can see is that it has these fetching little features up here. That's it. It seems to be exactly the same in every other way, but hey, it's updated. It might work better, who knows? But still, not one for weight weenies, but a very good mount. And of course, my lovely gloves. <laughs> so, all in all, a pretty good haul and some pretty good prices and all in stock, at least for now, on Amazon for next day or two day delivery, at least in my area. So, happy shopping. Happy Christmas, and see you on the next one.